Hello, welcome to the weather update. It's about 9.30, March 6th, 2022, a mild, very warm day, depending on where you are, and had some rain, and then uh, that rain kind of ended early afternoon, and then the sun came out for a little bit with, a few, with you know, hazy, cloudy-looking sky there uh, with the sun coming out. So uh, let's take a look and see how warm it is out there right now. We're going to actually first go to the Wonderground site because uh, there's some variation going on here obviously a lot cooler on the south well we've dropped into the 50s now too in many almost areas are in the 50s you can see north shore still holding on to the 60s uh north shore all the way out in suffolk county almost a lot warmer there than the south shore so uh almost a 10 degree difference there especially the further east you go um look at look at the city still holding on to upper 60s at this hour which is pretty crazy uh so quite warm uh, and look at Jersey hanging around. Look at that, 70 still at this hour uh, around Tom's River. That's insane right there. So that's the kind of warmth that a lot of areas are dealing with. Luckily, Long Island, we have a sea breeze keeping us cooler. Uh, let's go to the weather and hazards map. Yes, we're going to talk about all this severe weather. We have a couple of tornado warnings going on in, uh, Na in Tennessee and Arkansas. Um, and, yeah, another night of severe weather for them. Uh, we're going to get to that in a moment, but let's talk about today's warmth. Uh, and you'll see that it's, it's a little humid out there, too. So uh, you look at Islip, 54 degrees, the dew point of 52. Uh, look at the city, though, 67 in Central Park with the dew point of 54. Um, and if we go and we look at Jersey, look at that again, close to 70 in Tom's River, 68 degrees. That is insane uh, for this hour of night for it still to be so warm, especially as, as in Jer Jersey. It's just it's very, very warm there. Uh, yeah, so, uh, again, it's the for fastest warming state in the country. Um, I point that out whenever I can. So let's go to the high temperatures for the day, and you'll see we got up to 68 in Carl Place. You see the further east you go, the South Shore only got up to uh, the upper mid to upper 50s. So we were in the upper 60s here in the northern uh, central and northern Nassau. And you go out to Suffolk County, 55 was your high at Ronkonkoma. We'll take a look on the North Shore there in uh, around Smithtown there, 63 or 64. Uh, West Hampton only 49, so even more of a sea breeze as you go further out. 68 in Central Park was your high, and as we go into New Jersey, uh, you'll see definitely some uh, highs around 70 there in Tom's River. Uh, and we're going to look at some of these stations too. Let me uh, move this back to this. Uh, Go to the station plot and look at some of these stations to show you. Uh, we're actually going to look at Carl Place, so let's go to the Carl Place station here. Uh, and uh, this is the Carl Place station, and you'll see here uh, that uh, it was a lot warmer earlier on there. You can see how it shot up once that sun came out. Uh, and then around after 3 o'clock, it shot up into the upper 60s there. Uh, and, then, and then it started dropping after 5 o'clock. That's when the sea breeze came in there. Actually, see here on the chart. You know, the, that's right. Was that right around? What is that? What am I looking at here? Here, our right, temperature is the blue line. Oh, it's the blue line. Okay. Um, the dew point is still malfunctioning there at that site. Uh, but you can see the temperatures there. Uh, a little bit of a roller coaster there uh, with the temperatures. Um, and again, it was cool. Look at that. It was a lot cooler. A couple of days ago, <laughs> and then, boom, got really warm. Uh, so we'll look at a couple of other stations here. We'll look at another couple. We'll look at Islip. Well, Islip didn't really get that warm, so I'm not going to look at Islip. Um, but we go if we go to the South Shore and look at, uh, let's look at Merrick. So Merrick. Uh, Merrick uh, was, oh, yeah, only... Uh, you know, only got to the mid 50s there in Merrick. So, and a nice sea breeze all day long, right on the south shore. But they had enough of that westerly component that the sea breeze didn't go in that far, and a lot of other areas got quite warm because of it. Uh, uh, if we go in a little more here toward, uh, let's look at. Uh, I wish there was a station in Levittown, but I guess Farmingdale would be the best choice for that. Um, if we look at Farmingdale. You'll see that, uh, let's see what there was there. Yeah, it got into the mid-50s there, too. It was cooler. Suffolk County got 58. But yeah, more of a sea breeze there. Just more of a sea breeze. It was amazing how 
we just got that layer of warmth that came in over uh, the western part of Long Island there like that. And I, and I think uh, when we look at the highs again, uh, which will go to the highs, uh, you'll see what wound up happening is that warm air just kind of came in. We'll just get some arrows here. That southwest wind, when you have a southwest wind for this part of, let me clear this out. When you have a southwest wind, it just tends to bring the warmth in off Jersey, and it has a tendency to go over this part of Nassau County right over here. All right, and that's exactly what's going on. So if you follow it almost in a straight line, that westerly component, while well, you're sitting nice and cool on the south shore um, and east end. So, yeah, that's, that's what pretty much happened today. Uh, it's a very warm day today. Uh, let's go back to the Wonder Map here, and we'll look at a few more stations here. Like I said, if you were in Suffolk County, you you didn't, you didn't do all that badly. It was North Patch. I was probably cool all day. Uh, 54 North Patch. And this is representative for most of like central Suffolk County, uh, and you'll see uh, there um, are the temperatures. You can see though it did bump up. Actually, it bumped up in the evening more. Interesting. Bumped up more in the evening. It's kind of interesting because when you have these type of air. Yeah, so you get these very, really weird variations. So, but if you go north, like if we look at St. James, for instance, let's pull up St. James, and you'll see, yeah, it was a lot warmer there. But then it did drop, did get a little bit of that sea breeze there. But then if you go further west into my neck of the woods here, and we'll use, well, let's use the station here. See, it's called Searingtown, but it's really Mineola. Um, at least where that's where it's located on the map. But you can see, you can see how much much warmer it was here. But then right around four o'clock, it started dropping when the sea breeze came in. You can see it started dropping. But if you go to the South Shore, I'll we'll go to Rockville Center. Let's do Rockville Center. We'll use this site right here. That's a downtown Baldwin, really. All right, well. Why does that say downtown Baldwin? That's in Rockville Center. All right, let's 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 just pick Malvern. I'm just checking all these different stations. So you can see, oh, they peaked too. So it looks like the, the western part of the south shore got warm. And that's that's what it is when you're further. Let's see. Now let's go to Rockville Center. Let's see what they got here. This is interesting. So. All these variations. So you can see, yeah, actually, they did warm up into the 60s there. So, yeah, if they were further off west, it was warmer there. They were in that little warm, that warm, that warm airflow. But as you go further east and look at, let's go to Belmore, for instance, it's probably a lot cooler there. They had more of a sea breeze. So, yeah, see, it was only 59, and it was a short peak, and then it dropped pretty quick. You know, so that's, uh, you know, that's sort of like what we were seeing. But again, it was because of that warm air surging in from Jersey. Uh, so, all right, enough of that. Let's get to the severe weather because we do have a lot of that going on. And you can see enhanced. Look at this. This is crazy for March. Uh, a enhanced that an enhanced risk in the red there. Um, and there's a tornado watch in effect as well. And this, like I said, there's some tornado warnings as well. So this is pretty crazy for for. Um, uh, for m early March to see this. And if you look at the lightning, there's just tons of lightning going on over here again. And I was watching some of those storms. I was watching a video of it on virtual rail fan, actually. In one site in Illinois, and boy, that wind, you could see power flashes. It was, I don't know if there was a tornado there or what, but, uh, you know, this is crazy for early March. But again, that just shows you this what this warm air is doing as we deal with the worsening effects of climate, of climate change. Uh, so let's go now, and I don't know if any records were set today across the area. Oh, yeah, there were a few record highs set. Uh, according to the Weather Service, record high of 68 at LaGuardia, uh, tied at Central Park at 68, and, and Newark at 69. Uh, so there there was some record highs today, again. Uh, of course, that's how crazy how warm it is, and that's, and that's humid, too. There's dampness in the air. Um so I'm going to go to Des Moines because uh, there is a tornado report that I want to look at over there on the Des Moines. There was a confirmed tornado in Des Moines yesterday, uh, and now it's down to 30. But uh, let's see, preliminary damage report. All right, so this is the preliminary report on these tornadoes. And uh, 
Uh, the Garden Grove Hamilton tornado is an EF2. Uh, the Chariton Red Hoa State Park tornado is an EF3. Uh, and the Albert Allerton Corridon, Corridon tornado is an EF2. It's crazy, March. So it was, it's not just one tornado. It was a whole outbreak of tornadoes. And again, we're only in March. Uh, and we have more tornado warnings going on right now in Arkansas and Tennessee. So again... This is uh, what we're dealing with as we deal with the, the, if these effects of climate change. And if we look at the radar here, and we'll show you what this looks like here. You'll see all, all, this, all this stuff here right now over Illinois. Uh, and this is all moving eastward. We're not going to see any severe weather, uh, but we're going to have to watch for the chance of some thunderstorms tomorrow for sure when this front passes. Uh, so let's go to the models now, and uh, we're just going to go over... Um, this uh, coming week so this low here kind of pulls away that low kind of pulls you can see that uh, pulls out a little bit and that allows that high to build in again big ridge surge of warm air front comes through much better weather for Tuesday with the cool front uh, coming through it won't be like bitter cold like we had it'll be like seasonable uh, and then you can we're gonna have to deal with a couple of coastal storms Wednesday Thursday Friday that look like they're trying to stay offshore and then one that might hit us on Saturday and give us a rainy day and we'll have to watch possible snow at the back end and there could be some more cold air there but i don't really want to spend too much time on that because we have a lot of active weather that we're gonna have to watch the next 24 to uh, 48 hours uh so let's go to the h triple r and the h triple r is down a power failure is causing with our hosting pr provider is causing multiple products to be delayed uh-oh all right so we don't have the h triple r we're gonna have to use the nam uh, three, uh, you know, the H triple R is out of service, uh, because of, again, a power failure. So I don't know where this power outage is. Let's see how many power outages we have across. We have actually we have 18,000 in New York. What is going on? Why are there so many power outages upstate? looks like Orleans County has a lot. So I don't know what kind of power failure is going on, but we're not going to have access to the H triple R model. Um, we can get it through the Ventu sky, I guess. But anyway, let's look at the NAM three. And this is, oh, this is the 12 Z NAM. So, yeah, we, we don't have any models here to look at. Okay, this is a problem. A power failure. Okay, we may not have, uh, we may have to go to another site uh, and use the Ventu Sky, which I know is not that accurate. But this is the 12 Z NAM. And you can see that thunderstorm threat for tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't look all that impressive, but we're going to have to watch it. These are all old products, so we can't really use them, unfortunately. Um, uh, this is a big problem that we're having. Um, you can look at the skies, and you'll see that there'll be some breaks of sun tomorrow. Here, this is the NAM. That could help get us up there. Uh, and then as far as Tuesday goes, a clearer, but we may still be dealing with some cirrus. RGM's a little more encouraging, but again, we're missing uh, because there was a power failure at their hosting site or whatever. There's some kind of issue going on. So let's see if Ventu Sky is affected by this. Hopefully not. Um, so we're going to have to use Ventu Sky to look at the temperatures for tomorrow. Uh, we're definitely having issues here with getting models, and I'm not sure. I mean, there could be other sites to look at, uh, but I'm not sure. Well, I know there's a site called Pivotal Weather, but uh, I don't think they give free uh, model data uh, freely available. Okay, let's see. Well, we'll have to see. Models, let's see. Okay, oh, they're having an issue too. It says due to a power out issue. Soundings are currently unavailable. So apparently there's a power issue. Now, what the hell is going on? I don't know if the Russians are hacking things, but you notice the internet being slow lately and sites being, not being available. Uh, it's definitely a little concerning. Uh, so this is the GFS. So let me just switch this to the... I don't know if he has... Can I switch this to the HRRR? I'm not familiar with this site, so I don't know how to use it. Oh, boy. So this is going to be a bit of a problem kind of want to all right it does not look like we have oh here we go i can switch it this way i don't see the h triple r on here oh there it is all right let's go to h triple r i want to change the time though all right i don't know what i just did here uh it says soundings are currently unavailable so i think this is going to be affecting this site too i'm afraid um all right, let's see. Can I change it to regional? Yeah. 
All right, so this is uh, what the HRRR looks like. I don't know how to use this site, so let's just go and stick with what we know, all right, because I, I don't know how to use this site. Uh, so Ventus Sky, all right, so this is really going to limit what we're going to be able to do this on this weather update. So let's move this to tomorrow here. We'll just see how warm it gets. This is 6 a.m., 8 a.m. This would be the HRRR here that it uses. Uh, so you could see the warmth coming into Jersey already, 10 a.m. Jersey's already in the 70s. Could hit 80 in Jersey tomorrow. Uh, and uh, look at this noon tomorrow. You can see a big difference. Long Island. Um, get a little closer here, so you can see some warmth. We'll probably be getting as warm at, at tomorrow as we did yesterday. But Jersey, I think you have a chance of hitting 80 degrees tomorrow. Um, and look at that, 76, 77. Um, you can see it warming up. The city's also going to be in the 70s. You can see the 70s starting to spread into Long Island too. I think, I think northern parts of Nassau have a chance of getting up to 70. Um, but you'll see that suddenly flow, so that'll hopefully give us more of a sea breeze on Long Island and keep the temperatures down. Uh, but Jersey, boy, you're going to be roasting. You see why I don't want to wind up living in Jersey because it's hot there. Okay, 77, but then, the, like, okay, but in the summer it could be like 90 while it's in the 70s here, right? So that's, you know, if you like the hot weather, that's great. I'm not somebody who likes the hot weather. Uh, 5 o'clock, uh, you can see here, uh, you can see the Long Island is cooler. Jersey's really going to be very warm tomorrow. All right? And you can see just how warm it is in Jersey. It's going to be a record. Tomorrow's going to be a record break for sure. Uh, and the city, too, I think they're going to smash a lot of records. There's a lot of warmth. Uh, so the other thing that we got to watch out for are thunderstorms. Uh, and uh, the Cape, yeah, the Cape doesn't look all that impressive. You see a little bit of it there with that front. Um, and then you also it's also going to be breezy, too. We're going to have a lot of wind tomorrow, too. So if we look at the wind here. Uh, let's back this up to three. So it will be breezy. Uh, so that'll help hopefully get that sea breeze in uh, a little bit. These are the wind gusts that we're looking at right now. Uh, and you can see these wind gusts are pretty strong. Uh, and you can see this front coming. I kind of want to visualize the front uh, coming through. And you can sort of see it right here. There it is. And that's this is around 9 o'clock. All right. Uh, if we go to the precipitation here. Uh, yeah, I know this looks horrible. I really miss having the uh, other models to look at here um but uh if we look at the like that thunderstorm threat uh let's go to thunderstorm threat here uh so the cape all right let's go to the lifted index and there is some there is some so we're gonna have to watch this the best chance is gonna be over new jersey obviously where it's warmer when they had since they'd hit this cooler air. i think they would weaken but we've learned that sometimes that doesn't happen um uh, we've learned that so uh we'll have to uh see what happens uh, looking at the clouds, uh, see, it's there's going to be a lot of clouds around, obviously, but enough breaks of sun that I think it's going to get warm. Um, but it won't be it won't be a nice. If you want a clear a clearer sky, Tuesday is probably your day, though. It's still showing a lot of clouds around for Tuesday. But again, we may be having delays on this site with models too. It may be affecting all the sites at this point. We don't know um, if the mo if there was actually a power failure where the models are, uh, where this power failure is. We can also look at windy.com. It's very annoying that I don't have um, the models that I need to, to, uh, to uh, I mean, we have a 12Z models to work with, um, but we can use those 12Z models uh, and look at, at them anyway. So, again, uh, this is tomorrow, and you can see uh, we're going to be dry most of the day. The chance of rain doesn't come until the evening after like 6, 7, maybe after 7 o'clock or so uh, with these showers, with this front coming through. Um, and we can look at some of the temperature forecasts on this. You know, the NAM is a tendency to run cool. We can look at this and see how the kind of eh, actually bringing. You can see the difference here, visualizing again the difference with. Uh, and again, this is where these are old model runs, but what they'll have to do. Uh, you can see all the warmth in Jersey while Long Island is much cooler tomorrow. So, uh, but then you can see right, for, right, right with that front coming through, the temperatures could shoot up uh, when the winds briefly go to the west. Uh, and then the cooler air comes in for Tuesday, and then we're down into the 40s. Um, uh, and it's also going to be humid, too, so let's uh, show you that humidity as well. So uh, here's here's that surge of humidity that's going to come into the area. Look at that. That is a lot of humidity, and that's what's going to help those thunderstorms, I think. And that's that's something that we have to be concerned about here. Um, that That looks like could be... Significant, to say the least. Um, 
So I'm going to look at a few other parameters here just to... You know, it's annoying that I don't have the... the um, all the models in. They're each triple R. There are no runs available. None at all. Um, we can look at the R gem. See what, how he treats that front tomorrow. I'm really concerned because you see there's a little bit of a V there in the isobars. You see that? Whenever you see this V, that's, uh, that's indication of a strong front. So what a night for the models to go down. Uh, not being able to... Uh, or the model site uh, power outage hosting provider power failure um, there's also the FV3 high res and again these are all 12 Z runs uh, but you can see they're right there it's actually bringing in a little sooner like more like 5 o'clock mm -hmm. so there's some timing differences and then another line so we're going to have to watch with this threat tomorrow of thunderstorms uh, and I wouldn't rule out some of them being on the strong side uh, I would not rule it out. Um, let's see if we can get the HDRPS here. Wait a minute, I don't see the HDRPS here. Where is it? Where is it? All right, let's see this one. Um, oh, yeah. So th this is the concern. Look at that. There you go. So this model is really putting down some strong storms here. We're going to have to watch this threat tomorrow because there's a lot of warmth and a cold front coming to it, a pretty strong one. Uh, this line has had a history of producing severe weather so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this and uh, maybe we'll have some more uh, the models will come back sometime tomorrow morning and I'll have to provide another weather update when we have more information on them uh, but certainly uh, the, the uh, setup is there uh, for some uh, storms tomorrow yeah uh, tomorrow evening so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that uh, and it's it's definitely a concern uh, we'll just go to the storm prediction center here uh, where is Storm Prediction Center? And we'll look and see. Tomorrow's. All right, it's day two. All right, we're in a thunderstorm risk, but they might wind up moving this marginal risk. It's a little close to us. We're going to have to see. So just watch out. Record warmth and thunderstorms possible tomorrow, uh, especially if you're uh, from New York City on westward uh, as we deal with this uh, record warmth in our area. So that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care and thank you for watching.